Hello and welcome. Namaskar. Time series analysis and conversion of trend equation. And now we are going to discuss something about conversion of annual trend equation to monthly or quarterly or half yearly. And let's discuss this with the help of a case like discussion. The annual trend is suppose y estimated equals to a plus b x linear trend having origin in 2013 on july 1 in this trend equation x units are one year and y units are annual totals now we can convert this annual trend into monthly quarterly half yearly in which way that we are going to discuss this can be converted into a monthly trend in two ways theoretically we are discussing this point that's why i am going to discuss all the two ways the first is monthly trend where x units are one year only that means x are not monthly later on we are going to discuss x units one month but first let's discuss where the x units are one year and y units are average monthly trends because we want trend values of y on monthly basis what should we do that's very simple thing yearly is a plus bx and we know that a year is made up of 12 months so the monthly trend will be a divided by 12 plus b divided by 12 x this is the conversion of this annual trend into a monthly trend but the reality is in this case x units remains one year that means y units are average monthly totals b is the rate of change but the matter to be understood is b shows the monthly rate of change of the month corresponding to the same month of the next year so if we say that this is the equation of estimated value of y for january we can estimate the value of y for next january because x is rather x unit is one year but practically we want x units also a month then what should we do we should divide b by further 12 so b by 12 should be divided by again 12 it is something like we have to divide this x by 12 let's discuss that what is going to happen annual trend is y equals to a plus bx now monthly where x unit is also one month will be a divided by 12 plus b divided by 12 into 12 see the difference between these two because of this hence ultimately the monthly trend would be a by 12 plus b by 144x this is the case as a student if we rather if i say something about the examination if in any examination it is asked to convert an annual trend into monthly trend you should write this as your final answer if there is no other specific information through which you can make distinction between these two then you have to write this one not this one now what about quarterly trend we know that a year is made up of four quarters so quarter is the fourth part of the year and other logic is the same the annual trend given is a plus bx where a and b and x everything is yearly quarter means fourth part of the year 
So the quarterly trend will be A divided by 4 plus B divided by 4 into 12. Yes, this logic into X and in the same way a year is made up of two halves yearly trend is a plus bx so the half yearly trend must be a divided by 2 plus divided plus b divided by 2 into 12 x in this way we can convert any annual trend into a monthly or quarterly or half yearly trend. That's it. Thank you very much.